Hi, and welcome on Coin Money Network. My opinion is that, if the Bitcoin is going to keep this way, this increase will cause inflation to fall in more countries, which is not good. Now considering the evolution of things, when it comes to Bitcoin, we must not ignore any information that speaks facts and things as real as possible. The guy from Fallible Channel did a good video, enumerating some important and interesting things about Bitcoin. You can find his channel link in the description below. Thanks. Now I let you decide if for you to it's useful or not. If you liked the video, or you think that it's useful for you or others, please get involved with a share, like and comment. Thanks. Find at the links below more 100% absolutely best guaranteed proven powerful quality products. So you can have quick results with step by step simple solution. I wish you all the best to you and your family, and a prosperous financial year in 2018. Everybody, AK from Fallible here, and today we're gonna talk about why Bitcoin is not a real currency. It's fake, like a Kardashian. Oh, hey girl. Huh. With Bitcoin shooting up as fast as it is, all of a sudden everybody thinks they're an expert. I swear, if one more Uber driver lectures me about Bitcoin, I'm jacking his car and selling for parts. Then I'm gonna use that money to buy more Bitcoin. Now even with all these experts walking around, everyone is still calling Bitcoin a currency. But it's not. Here's why. A currency is measured in two ways. First, as a medium of exchange, which is how easy it is to make transactions with it. And second, as a store of value, which is how well it holds its purchasing power. Bitcoin sucks at both. First off, it's a terrible medium exchange. How many stores do you know actually accept Bitcoin? Not many. And even companies like Microsoft and Overstock only accept Bitcoin on very few items. It's more of a gimmick than a real payment system. If you really want to test a currency, just take it to a strip club. Check out how many ladies are accepting Bitcoin over dollar bills. Or you can ask yourself, WWTD, what would Trump do? When he's looking for golden showers in Russia, do you really think he's doing with Bitcoin? Of course not, because every good Russian prostitute knows to only accept real currency or drugs. Now, Big reason Bitcoin has failed to become a good medium exchange is because compared to alternatives, its transaction process is way longer and is a lot more expensive too. Bitcoin mining ain't free. All that computer processing power takes a ton of energy. So much so that the electricity used to mine Bitcoin is equivalent to the electricity needed to power 1 million US homes. That's like needing an entire army of energizer bunnies hopped up on mountains of cocaine just to power the system. You get it? I said hopped up because they're rabbits. Bitcoin takes 40 times more energy to run than the Visa network, and is much, much slower. There's about 20,000 retail transactions per second. Visa's network can process more than double that per second. Bitcoin, on the other hand, would take nearly 100 minutes to transcribe those 20,000 transactions onto the blockchain. That's slower than an energizer bunny that OD'd and died. The last reason Bitcoin is a terrible medium exchange is because no one wants to use it that way. People aren't buying Bitcoin so they can go to Kroger with it. They're buying it so they can sell it later for a higher price. It's all speculative. No one wants to be like that idiot who paid 10,000 Bitcoins for pizza back in 2010. That guy's life is ruined. Nobody likes him. He tries hollering at girls and they look back at him like, Oh, you wanna buy me a pizza? <laughs> Idiot. Even I don't want to be that guy's friend. That's why everyone is holding on to their coins. They don't want to transact. They want to get rich or die trying. Shout out to 50 Cent, by the way. You know, I heard he's changing his name to 50 Bitcoin because, you know, he stays with the times. So Bitcoin fails as a medium exchange. But what about as a store of value? Nope. Fails there too. Bitcoin's price is so volatile that no one's going to stash their money there for safekeeping. When they wake up in the morning, their savings could have doubled or it could have been cut in half. The problem is, is that Bitcoin doesn't have any floor on its value. That's why it doesn't make sense to compare it to something like gold or the US dollar. For gold, even if its value completely plummeted, you'd still always be able to make pretty stuff out of it. And I promise there is no time in the future when your girl will stop wanting jewelry. That's just not possible. And with the US dollar, even if its value nosedives, you'll still be able to pay your taxes with it. So it's not completely worthless. And you know that's important because Uncle Sam is the only guy who gets away with putting his hands down other people's pockets more than Harvey Weinstein. Hmm? Plus, if the US dollar ever drops too much, the Federal Reserve's got your back. They'll buy those dollars back until the value is fixed. Guaranteed. So where is this type of floor for Bitcoin? There is none. Like Warren Buffett said, you can't value Bitcoin because it's not a value producing asset. Bitcoin is only valuable because other people think it's valuable. Like I said before, people are only buying Bitcoin so they can sell it to someone else for a higher price. And that's what we call greater fool theory. You buy something dumb with the hope that someone dumber will buy that off of you. And boy, I pity the fool who's stuck holding the bag when the crash actually comes. And there you have it. Bitcoin fails both as a medium exchange and as a store of value. And that's why it's a fake.
cryptocurrency. So don't be too surprised when Bitcoin shits the bed and crashes. Because really, Bitcoin is more like a Pokemon card. It has no intrinsic value and its price is completely based on how popular it is. And look at all these worthless Pokemon cards I still got. Goddamn Pikachu. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe below and hit that little bell too. And let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Bye.